<clears throat> Let's just make sure things are working. Why isn't that deep live? Are you going to come up? All right. So here, so so Facebook days and days, maybe I don't know, a week or so later, released a bunch of videos of my live streams <clears throat> because, of course, the music was was under fair use because I was playing it in the background. I wasn't really, you know, selling anything or whatever. So problem is Facebook, uh, their methodology is just to cut the video. So people who are watching the live stream, it dies. <clears throat> so anyway, I enabled Facebook right now. We'll see how what happens. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, listen to some a podcast as I paint. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to do. So if, yeah, so I've got um, Joe Rogan queued up, and I'm going to listen to this one about the uh, spaceship thing. Where is it? Uh, come on, where is it? It's with the dude, I forget his name, who apparently worked at Area 51 and worked on... Oh, yeah, Bob Lazar, that's it. Here we go. Bob Lazar. Okay, so... This is, First of all, cheers, gentlemen. So this is... Uh, what I'm, what I'm going to be watching right here. I really appreciate it. I understand that you've told this, told this story many, many times. You've been so that's what I'm listening to. And it's very stressful to you, so okay. I really, really appreciate your time. For people who don't know the story, um, there is a documentary. Um, Jeremy Corbell has a documentary out right now. It's called Bob Lazar, Area 51, and UFOs. It's a part of Story okay, so I did it. I'm just, I'm just gonna maybe just paint until I use up the rest of this paper. These little, little cute little ten by, ten by eleven, ten by fourteen. So here's this one, <clears throat> this one, this one. This one I'm not sure if it counts as part of the same one because <clears throat> these ones are starting to do these like very simple kind of compositions. All I did add a bit of the trees here. So I'm gonna probably do something like that. I don't really know yet. Not quite sure what's gonna how it's gonna happen. But uh maybe what I'll do is I'll just start by <clears throat> taping this thing up. Is the live stream working? Let me just take a look. Facebook. Oh yeah it's it's working on Facebook. Okay I want to pause it on Facebook. We don't need to watch myself Go back, go back, go back. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tape this thing down first. If you're on Facebook, I strongly recommend going to my YouTube, <clears throat> watching it from YouTube channel. <clears throat> Failed to connect to chat server. Ah, forget you. Okay, so the reason why I suggest go to YouTube is because, where is that coming from? Is because uh, Facebook at any moment could kill my live stream and so please go to go to um, my YouTube channel. Here, I'll, I'll type in my YouTube channel in the chat on Facebook. Okay, I'm trying to. Where's where's the comment section? Comment. Okay. There we go. Go to go to my YouTube channel because you never know when Facebook will <clears throat> cut this live stream. Okay, go go to my channel and 
watch there instead. Okay. Go to my YouTube channel and watch there instead because you never know when Facebook will cut this live stream. That is the truth. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I got this thing tapered down, taped down enough. <clears throat> All right, what kind of mood am I in here? I had some thoughts as, as I was walking downstairs. I was thinking, I've always liked this painting. <clears throat> I like the, the light along the bottom. I like all the swirly, whirly bits up here. But I cut, but then again, this was really fun to do. It was so simple. I mean, I think I think I might do some more like this where it's <clears throat> simple and then add just a little bits of details around and the sky. I lo love doing the sky. It was fun. Maybe this one will do more of a sky, a bigger sky. And just some weird fucked up trees. It actually looks good. This stuff looks good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, Nugget. All right. So I should probably start with like an undercoat of color. What should the undercoat color be? Warm colors are kind of nice to do. This one I actually, so you can actually see the undercoats of color here. So this one, purpley crimson. This one's definitely more red crimson. And this one I experimented with more reds and oranges. And they definitely give off a different vibe. I wonder what blue might affect. Well, I think I think I think the warmer colors look better underneath for some reason. Okay, so how? Okay, fuck it. You know, what? I'm not even gonna think. I'm just gonna put some colors down. Put this color down here. I'm thinking again. I might do another very dark. Well, I would say it's dark and doesn't always end up being dark. Okay, here's some colors. Hey, it was okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to my, my YouTube channel and see who's if people are there. Because YouTube will be better for sure. Okay. All right. So I'm actually quite prepared here. Let me show you my setup. Can I go back further? Excuse me, I got my pencils. I got two things of water over here. It's good to have two. I've got my, even my brushes organized. I've got the tall ones in this ones and the short ones in this one. Isn't that nice? <clears throat> and I've got I've had, I have a shoebox top that's carrying my gouaches. So now it's just a perfect size so I can shuffle through them. And then over here, I've got my short selection box and my super short selection, which is usually just black and white because I'm always looking for my damn black and whites. Okay, so I'm going to start with a big brush. Get the water a little closer. And I'm just going to smoosh this. That is a highly technical art term. Uh, you know, don't feel bad if you don't know these, these uh, extremely sophisticated terms. Um, splooshing. Um, don't worry. It's okay if you're not edumacated. If you don't have an edumacation in the world of art, I'm your one-stop shop. I will help you learn up all the important words like sploosh, spl splash horrific. Okay, it's okay if, you, if you're not that smart in the brain helmet. You're, you'll be forgiven. All the people in the art world will understand. All you have to do is wear a black turtleneck. <clears throat> and use words like parsimonious. And you are instantly an art critic who can sway the opinions of the unwashed masses. Okay, that's some good shit talking right there. Okay. 
So what we got is a splutified, extremely well splutified, um, stuff and things. As you probably would have noticed, I didn't go right to the edge because I haven't taped off the edges. Okay, we need some more coffee because as this sucker's drying, I have to drink a coffee. Have a drink of club soda. Now, it's already starting to buckle, so I'll put more tape on. Soon, I'm gonna start working on some big paintings. Big paintings. So, if this one is 10 by four inches, the paintings I normally work on are 48 by 72 inches. That means they're much better paintings because the bigger, the better. Did you not know that? Things that are bigger are better and they, they cost more. What you gonna be, hey? What you gonna be? Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go do some Taekwondo breathing exercises. Oh, that's awesome. I should do that more. Okay. See how it's popped up here? Um, this could be anything right now. This could be like a fun abstract painting. Maybe, I, oh, maybe I'll do a fun abstract painting. What about them apples? Hmm. This could be anything. All I know is that it just needs a few more seconds to dry because I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna use a pencil to create something. In my mind, I'm thinking about there's an artist on, I only follow a couple people on, on Instafart, and um, 16 people I follow. That's more enough for me to try to. Here she is. Anna, no, no, no. Anna, yeah, is, no, I'm thinking about what's her face. I don't even know their names. Maglo something or other. But she does these kind of really fun, silly-ish kind of, kind of like Paul Klee paintings. And they're just fun, man. They're fun, fun fucking doodly doos. Doodly doos and swiply schwaps. She's in Germany. I totally dig it, man. I feel like doing some shit like this. Just fucking sloppity dingles and schnarples and... Bloopity ploops. Or should I continue with. A f a f or I have an. I, wait, wait a second. What if I did a landscape that was also doobly doops and schnarbly barbs and stuff? Hmm. That could be the answer. You're almost dry. Hmm. What are you going to be? What are you going to be? I don't know. It's going to be something. Oh, I can hear myself talking. There we go. Pause that. Okay. Blue shift, shifting. Hey, Sheila, what the hell are you doing on Facebook? Go over to YouTube. Facebook is gonna kill it. I promise. I'm gonna start playing music, and Facebook's gonna kill it. Gotta get get off Facebook. Go to YouTube. For crying out loud, Sheila. For crying out loud. That's what my grandfather used to say. Grandpa, my grandfather's deaf, so and he had that deaf voice. That, that voice that kind of like they kind of talk like this. And he used to say, "For crying out loud." 
he was always he'd always pretend he was upset. He was never never got angry. I don't think I ever remember ever seeing him angry. <clears throat> but he pretended to be angry. That's like me. I I think that's where I get it from. You know, I insult people a lot, like like here, where I'm like, ah, shit, help. I think that's where I get it from. I get it from my grandfather, who was a super gentle guy, and he pretended to get angry, and that's why I do it. I think. I'm like, ah, shut the hell up, right? Just now I said that to, to Sheila, but I was not being serious. I was like, go goofing around. My grandfather was awesome. I loved that guy. I remember one time, him and I were driving somewhere, up north, going to Dorset, Ontario, and I thought, and I was sitting in the back seat, and he was driving, and I thought I'd try like to see, if, like play tricks on him, because I wanted to see if he can actually hear me, like, so. I said to him, between the seats, like, hey, hey, Grandpa. And he saw me in the rear view mirror and he said, why are you whispering? And it freaked me out because he could read lips perfectly. And he had hearing aids, which I think pink picked up uh, vibrations, but he had, it was 100% deaf. Okay, come on. I'm, trying, I'm just trying to, what the hell's going on here? What could this be? Could this be? What do you be? What do you be? Uh. Okay. Um. It's funny how these decisions get made. They just sort of, they just sort of happen. Something just decides to get created. I'm waiting for that spirit to take over me. I'm waiting for that thing to come inside me and just do its thing and I could just watch. Where are you, spirit? I'm channeling you to come and do something. What are you gonna be? Hmm. Hmm. Whew. One day I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paint that image of my the, the cottage dock. There's stairs that come down here. There's a dock. It's L shaped. For many years I had like one of those corrugated roofs, and it, that part fell off, so it was just a frame. Like a base, and there's that. Well, I just don't feel like doing that right now. I feel like doing something a little different. What could this be? Okay, I know. I'm gonna just do. Uh oh, uh oh, Marcy. Marcy told me to do a sunset behind the mountain. Now I can't do a sunset behind the mountain. God damn it, Marcy! Don't you know? You gotta use reverse psychology with me. I never, ever do anything that people tell me to do. Ever. If someone says make it orange, it's never going to be orange. It's going to be blue. And I do that jokingly. I like. I just like to be a grump. I love to be a grump. Grumpy. It's fun. Okay. I'm gonna do, how about, should I do this? Like, wait, I did, let's try to make, I always try to make it something a little different. Okay, I'm gonna try to be somewhat consistent with these things. <gasps> hiccup, hiccup. Um, how about, oh, I know, let's, I know, here's, here's how I'm gonna do it. You weren't telling me. That's what I see. Now you, Marcy. What are you talking about, Marcy? Oh, it's boring. It's just a line going across. Okay. We let a line going. Oh. Okay. What a wicked composition. It's so awesome. There it is. I'm practically done. 
I'm practically done. Okay, how about fuck it? Let's just do this. Let's just go and put some lines going across. Okay. Let's just see what happens. And let's just see if... Let's just see if... Ooh, paper's still slightly wet. Oh, you son of a fart balls. Paper's a little wet. Okay, so that's the, that's the entire composition. And I may or may not do a sun. I'll see. But let's just do it so there's just lines. Like, who knows what these, just like a field going across. Hey, Marcy, go get on Facebook. Oh, look. Hey, Sheila. Woohoo! Sheila's on YouTube. Hey, there. I'm here, okay? And marked his face. Sweet. Don't do it with your nose. What are you talking about? Doing? Marcy, get get off Facebook and go to YouTube. Because YouTube... You know, Sheila, I don't know about this, I don't know if you can favorite something on Facebook, but you just you subscribe. You click subscribe. That's how you do it. Goddamn old people don't know what the hell they're doing. You're a bunch of old farts, aren't you? Okay. Jesus Christ. When I'm 50, just wait till I'm 50. Wait till the shit is going to come out of my mouth when I'm 50. Yeah, so Marcy, go to go to YouTube. God damn it. You young punk. How old are you, Marcy? 20? <laughs> Don't know the first thing about life. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, so there. This is this is our wicked ass composition. I swear to God. Oh, I still have got coffee. Okay. Ah, you fart balls! Stop it. Old and beautiful. Oh, are you talking about me again? <laughs> okay. How am I going to do this? This is kind of a conundrum wrapped in an enigma. Do I paint or do I draw? This is interesting. Don't anyone say anything. I'm not going to listen to you anyhow. God damn, people always yapping away, yappity yappity. Talking, talking and yipping and yapping. <clears throat> okay, let's get some dull colors. Let's get some dull. Oh, I know. I'm going to make some dull colors. Baby. I resemble that, Ruckman. What do you resemble? A grumpy son of a bitch like me? Then that's good. I should start a club called the Grumpy Sons of Bitches. I'm a grumpy son of a bitch. Okay. Fifty-six. God damn, you're old. <laughs> I'm not even fifty. You're an old son of a bitch, Sheila. Jesus Christ, how do you even walk? Fifty-six years old. God, that's embarrassing. I wouldn't tell anybody that. Fifty-six years old. For crying out loud. <laughs> we should make this the insult each other channel. That's what we should do. I would love it. Like, in fact, one of the best times I ever had was there were three or four guys. I and I wasn't paying attention to people. People were talking, and they were insulting me and saying the funniest stuff. One guy, because I was like, I'm fat, right? So one guy was like, I was breathing heavy. And he says, "This guy, who's this guy? Darth Vader?" Oh man! And I didn't see the chat it was all over. I was like, "Guys, come back!" That was the most fun I think I've had ever. And they they had some really funny insults. They they probably didn't realize like. They probably thought I'd get offended or whatever. And I was like, no, that's like the best. It was the best time ever. Bring it on. Okay. There. Hello from YouTube. Mousy Walton. I think Mousy Walton. Is that you, Marcy? Marcy Walton on, on YouTube, I think. You know what the problem is that, uh, let me show you something here. 
Wait, oh, I can't show it to you. Damn it. On the right hand side, it's supposed to show the chats, but I don't think they're they're working. The restream chat's not working now. It's supposed to put it's supposed to send all the chats from different places up onto the screen, but it's not seem to be working. Oh well. I'll just try to reply back to what people tap tap type. Yes, sir. Okay, so yeah, no, it didn't. It doesn't show up on the screen. Oh no, there it is. Yes, sir. Right on. Cool. Okay, so YouTube comments do work. All right. Isn't that exciting? Whoop de doo da. Ooh, look at you on on YouTube. Getting all fancy with your technology. Technology. I gotta blow my nose. God damn. Good thing I got this mic right here to catch me blow my nose. Ideally positioned for the nose blowing. All right, this this uh, brush pissed me off twenty five percent. Not enough for me to stop right now, but enough for me to complain about it. Okay. Now, why don't we? Go in with this brush. Oh, you are a beautiful brush. Oh, yes, you are perfect. All the other brushes should be jealous of you. Great lineage happening, Josh. What? Oh, lineage. Lineage. God damn right is good, good lineage. What do you expect? Anything but great. If there's one thing I can do, it's lineage. Actually, I can't draw a straight line for shit. Get the mic out of my face. Oh, I gotta move this easel out of the way. All right, you goddamn son of a bitch. Hey, Adolfo, get on YouTube for crying out loud. Get off of the Facebook thing. You gotta join all the cool people. Sheila. Sheila and Marcy over on YouTube. That's where the shit's happening. Come on, Adolfo from the Bronx. Here, okay, so what's gonna happen? What is gonna happen? So I'm gonna do lots of little thin lines. Lots of crazy little insane thin lines. Pew, pew, pew. And then, what if, okay, this could be light blue, like this color, as if this is some sort of like hills. Oh shit, I'm painting up my keyboard. Ah, ball sacks. Oh, wicked, look at that cool hippie trippy thing I got from D Live Dingus. I'm just like I could I could have a seizure a very happy seizure looking at that spiral thing. Look at that. Oh it's like I'm it's like uh, wicked. That thing's so cool. It's like I don't know if you guys you probably I don't know if you can see it but it's like this cool looking 
GIF. If you say GIF, you're automatically banned from everywhere. Wait a second, your name's pronounced Shayla? That's bullshit. Shayla. It's Sheila. Come on. Actually, Sheila, really? Shayla. Da, 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 da. Shayla. Da, 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 da. Oh, I got two. Wicked. I got now two. There he is. Now people on YouTube and everywhere else can see the wicked ass spirally thing that's hypnotizing me. Imagine if you were, I got an idea. You're locked in one of those, what is that? Sensory deprivation tanks. And all you had was a, um, all you had was VR glasses and it was constantly playing that crazy spiral thing. Wonder how long before you lost your mind. I'd give you about six minutes. It's freaking garlic Celtic. You can't even spell Shayla. It's Gaelic, not garlic for crying out loud. Shh, embarrassed. It's embarrassing. Your typing is horribly embarrassing. Sheila, Shayla. <clears throat> it's freaking garlic. <laughs> Why is your name Garlic? It's Gaelic. That's so funny. All right. Come on, D Live Dingus. I need some more of those spiral ones. Can you you got any other type of any other spirally things? I feel like having a seizure. Okay, so if I'm doing a little bit of a hills coming down this way and hills coming this way, what's the sky? Is the sky going to be like something like this? Ooh. <sighs> Ooh, maybe it'll come like this. And then this way too. All right, I'll have to figure this thing out. That was a boo-boo. I know it was Gaelic. Gaelic. Hmm. All right, what are we gonna do next? Okay. I think I'm gonna do some more drawing. Let's get out some colors. I gotta feel where is this gonna go? Where is this gonna go? go away pissing me off people come to my door probably some probably some I'm gonna go freak them out see if they're gonna try to steal them have a bit of movement. Hmm. Just need some opposing colors just so I can see it better. Well, that's not very opposing, is it? Let's see what white does. Still kind of wet. Maybe what I'll maybe what I'll do maybe what I'll do is I'll have like this year have some some gentle flows like this see like that I don't know not that one it's 
too much of this color. Oh, let's bring in this color. It's kind of a cool gray. I always forget to record these stupid videos every freaking time. things I could do I could make it dark to light I could do that I could go well it almost looks like an ocean now doesn't it actually that kind of looks like an ocean hmm I've done water in a long time Maybe it's going to be water. All right. Yeah. Let's do water and some light reflecting down and then fuck it. You're done, basically. Let's get her done, boys. Let's get her done. Let's get her done, boys. Let's go get her. Come on, Skeet. Come on, Skeet. Let's go get her done. Skeet! What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> I don't know if I want to do water. Eh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe. Oh, what's my favorite line from The Departed? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's when Mark Wahlberg says that. It's been water since you drew the lines. No, it hasn't. God damn it. For fuck's sake. Marcy trying to like change reality. Water since bitch and blah blah blah. Mm, look at that blue coming in now. Look at this blue coming in. You didn't think that was gonna be there, did you, Marcy? No. You were like, ooh, look at that. He's getting all fancy with these greens. But no. Bring in some blues. Just wait till I do the sky. That'll blow your noggin off your melon cap. <sighs> hmm. Kind of boring me right now. This thing is pissing me off and boring me at the same time. Let's add some black. Let's add some darkness. <laughs> <laughs> My zombie talk. My, zo my zombie gravel. One of my favorite kids' books. My son and I used to read. It was about a zombies, and it would be like you you press a button, and it had a little recorded voice thing that would like it would say like the zombie was talking to another zombie and it would say like hey do you want to go to the gym and then you press the button and it would play how to satan zombie it'd be like <laughs> and you had to guess which which phrase he was saying <laughs> so he used to just play this thing non-stop <laughs> so if i do a lot of grunting and stuff that's what i'm doing i'm remembering this awesome zombie book <laughs> Okay. Oh, you son of a son of a son of a thing. Uh, you've seen it. You saw it. Come on, Marcy. You don't say I've seen it. What are you, 12? I saw it. I saw it before you drew it. That is how you speak proper English, Marcy, with your crazy talk. I seen it. I used to work with this guy, Lucas Perkovich. 
And that's how I used to always say, I seen it. I seen this guy. I seen it. And he used to drive me nuts. I was like, Lucas, you saw it. That's what you're saying. I saw it yesterday. Yesterday, I saw a fellow. Not yesterday, I seen a fellow. Come on. Don't be like Lucas. Speak of the English good. Yes. Oh, you're trying to you're trying to pull a Was it uh what was that cartoon? Was it Peanuts? Oh no, it was Porky Pig. I think it was Porky Pig who would get stumble who would stumble over a complicated word and then just say like a synonym, like the simple one, like Yesterday, yesterday, I, I envision, 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 I saw it. Wasn't that Porky Pig? What the hell is Porky Pig, anyhow? What was it? Porky Pig was a... Was it a Disney thing? God, I can't even remember what the hell Porky Pig is. Who is Porky Pig? What, what was that from? Is it Disney? Miss Porky Pig. And that's kind of a dumb name anyhow, Porky Pig. It's like saying horsey horse. Or it's like saying venison deer, because like pork is the meat. Isn't isn't that what pork pork refers to the meat of a pig? Which is kind of gross when you think about it. Oh no, also porky implies chubby, right? You're a little porky. I'm a little porky. But I'm just trying to remember what the... I'm just, I can't remember any Porky Pig cartoons. I'm sure when I was a kid I watched them all the time. I just... I'm a bit of a brain fart not remembering. Let's see if I can turn this into something that's not totally shitty. That's my goal. My only objective here is to make this not be suckerific, not sucktastic. That is my one goal. To turn it from shibbolly to something awesome-y. I don't know if it's possible. Looney Tunes, right. Looney Tunes, I gotta remember the, oh right. Played trumpet in grade three, and we we learned Looney Tunes. Da, 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 da. And then my buddy with the trombone would go ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. I also remember, we played the duba do 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 do. She plays the rumba on the mona with the tuba. And what was her name? Who played the tuba? Tracy. This is. I remember Tracy played the tuba. Let's just say Tracy was not petite. And that was like her her moment to shine was when we do, 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 do. when something played the rumba on the tuba. And then she would I can't remember if she stood up or something, but that was her like tuba solo. I got a funny story about music. When I was in grade seven and eight. I uh my friend Andrew Pickersgill was a scrawny little guy. <laughs> Pickersville. <laughs> Whatever happened to Pickersville? Anyhow, he also he sat beside me in like homeroom, and he also sat beside me in band. I played trumpet, he played trombone, and we both hated music because we hated our music teacher. Anyhow, for for some really good story reasons. Anyhow, he would often fake playing the tuba, <laughs> and I remember one time. What he would do is he would hum into it. He would go, because he couldn't play the fucking uh, trombone. <laughs> it made him crack me up because I'd be sitting there, you know, we're all playing like, you know, real simple music. And he'd be like going, do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, Andrew Pickersgill had big glasses and he was a skinny. F oh, yeah. He was like a farm boy. That's right. I'm pretty sure he was from a farm. Man, I haven't thought of that guy in years. I don't think he went to the high school with me after. I can't remember. 
But we were buddies. He sat right across from me in homeroom in grade seven. He was funny as fuck. He was kind of like, he was super, he was a super geeky looking guy. Like super geeky. But he was very smart. Scrawny. Oh, no, no, no. Andrew Pickersgill was in grade five and six. It was Andrew Whitlock who was the one across from me. And he had a super hot sister. She was probably about, she was my, one of my sister's age. She was so good looking. Andrew Whit, Whit, Whitlock, Whitlock. Uh, she was probably like about three or four years older, which is like an eternity. Andrew Whitelock, that's right. Andrew Pickersville was, was from a farm. And he was with me from like grade three to six. And I remember we didn't go. He actually went back to like farmland or something. His parents moved to back to a farm. But Andrew Whitelock was definitely not a farmer's kid. Andrew Pickersville. Oh, yeah. I remember we'd come to my birthday parties and like literally he was also a scrawny little white guy. But so Andrew Whitelock was the nerdy guy with glasses. And Andrew Pickersville was the hillbilly kid. <laughs> like an hillbilly. He was a total hillbilly. Like, if he walked in with a straw in his teeth wearing overalls, it would be like, yeah, that's normal. I think I remember him, like, coming to my birthday party, and he wore, like, some sort of, like, plaid shirt that looked like a farmer's shirt. And I was like, yeah. Like, like none of us cared at all. But Andrew Pickers, oh. So weird how these memories come up. Like, I probably haven't thought about Andrew Pickersville in 20 or 30 years, man. Still remember his face. <clears throat> okay, so right now it's it's just it's it's not good. Hmm. I gotta make this interesting. Oh, you son of a gun. Reminds me of like Halifax or something. It does not pass my quality control yet. Okay. Hmm. Hey, what's up? My eyes are going 198. What's up, 198? <clears throat> 198 in the house. Okay. Maybe I'm going to go... Maybe I'm going to go dark. Either dark or light. Hmm. So 
If I go light, it'll have an effect like this. If I go dark, it might have an effect like that. <coughs> You're good at drawing water. <laughs> I usually don't do water, actually. I almost, I rarely do, I rarely do water. But uh, thank you. It's just a bunch of fucking squiggly lines going. Oh my God. Okay, so. Hmm. 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 Yeah, let's go dark. Let's go dark. Let's, let's take it to the dark side. What do you use? These are gouaches, my friend. This is gouache. I'll show you. Here, this one will be easier to read. I'm going to take off my autofocus so it'll focus. Here we go. Okay. This is called, if you can see it, gouache. Whoa, whoa, there it is. G O U A C H E. Noise. I love that show, That those guys. What are they called? Uh, no, I know what nice is. Noise. That's from um, Peel and Keel. Noise. Peel and Keel are these two guys who do those like sketch comedy routines, and holy crap, they are funny. 